Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker, and today we're going over some of the best locations to farm Oricon cells. So, Oricon cells are very simply mainly farmed on three locations that is, Ceres, Deimos, and Saturn. They can be dropped from any enemies here, as well as you can actually grab them from the extractors. So if you're going to throw extractors on these planets, I would definitely recommend throwing the distilling extractors because those will get you Oricon cells. So I'm going to quickly throw on distilling extractors. There's a decent chance I'll get a handful because I have three separate extractors going. So in about eight hours, I will probably get a decent amount of Oricon cells if I get lucky. If not, oh well. Other than that, Oricon cells are also dropped generally in bounties, it's dropped as some mission rewards, and they also have a chance to drop from any boss. Which brings me to my first, or I would say one of the better solo farming locations, at least if you don't have a full group with boosters and all of the possible drop rate increases, and that would be Magnesidium. That is the Lephantis boss right there. The Lephantis boss is actually a pretty simple boss. The general idea is just shoot at whichever one of the three sides opens its mouth and shoot at its mouth when it opens. That's the only real way to damage it and you should pretty easily be able to kill it as long as you just equip general damage primaries or secondaries. I don't think you're really able to melee the males that easily, but hey, if you want to try it, go for it. But really, it's not a hard fight, and it can net you anywhere from, I think, 1 to 5 Oricon cells, purely because the boss has multiple heads, and each head counts as a boss, so that's an Oricon cell potential drop. I quickly ran it just once, just to remember to see how easy the boss fight was, and yeah, it was fairly easy. I got two Oricon cells in a quick run, and I was messing around, so it took a while, so... It's a fairly easy fight once you just, you know, realize you have to shoot the mouth, and hopefully you get a ton of Oricon cells. Next place I would recommend would definitely be Gabby on Ceres. The reason I would recommend this is because it is a great endless mission with a 35% resource drop chance increase. So if you have any other resource boosters, if you have a team that can take advantage of this at all, if you have a meta team with things like Aura, Necros, Nova, Wisp, anything that really just helps the team farm more and stay in one location, get more drops you'll get a ton off this spot but if you don't have a meta team it might be better to stick to bosses you can naturally also kill the bosses on the other planet so you can kill extra you can kill these guys as well lech krill and captain vor i would actually go to this assassination node if you want to kill them as well as maybe look for some of the celerays that spawn on the planet because naturally you can also pick up Oricon cells from their naturally spawning location on the ground. You know, they're like kind of natural containers, if you will. This is a very popular location because you kill both Lech and Krill, so I think that counts as two separate drops for the Oricon cells. And it's pretty simple for people to find a couple Oricon cells here and there, just running from start to finish, as long as they're paying attention. But of course, sometimes none spawn on your run from start to finish, so you'll get unlucky there. That's why, again, I prefer killing the Lephantis, but that's just because I like that boss fight and because it's, you know, all those drop chances. Another location you can do is Lex, or you can go to Saturn and you can do Cassini. So I would only recommend these as capture missions if you want to quickly run through them with a speed frame, try to loot all of the boxes and all of the containers, and try to hit open cell arrays. I would only recommend this, again, if you have speed frames and you're willing to just speed through it and open up all of the boxes. This is pretty much like a high concentration type run because you actually have to go start to finish blowing everything up and trying to keep an eye out for the orc and cell arrays. So I would only recommend this if you really want to pay attention. It's definitely not one of the more lazy friendly methods, that's for sure. Another place I would recommend would be Helena on Saturn. The regular Helena is a defense grenier mission. It's a 
favorite farming location for both Oricon cells and leveling for me and many other people. So I would recommend run on down to this location if you have anything to level up and you want to farm Oricon cell. It's fairly simple, people generally stay anywhere from 5 to 20 waves here, but most likely 10-ish waves, and you'll probably get one to two Oricon cells, you'll probably get a ton of experience if you're leveling, and all in all, it's a pretty populated map that people always run to. So I would definitely run that if you're at least feeling like it, because it is really good for leveling and pretty good for Oricon cells. You can always go to Deimos and run Isolation Vaults on the Necrolisk. The only reason I'd recommend that is because Isolation Vaults are kind of a mandatory thing you'll have to do in the Necrolisk if you at least want to get a Necromech. It's not going to be the fastest way, but you can get really lucky and get a ton of Oricon cells. But most likely you're not going to get a ton, so that's why I would stick to those other methods, unless you just want to farm up for your Necromech. Realistically though, any map is good to farm Oricon cells on if you're at least willing to look out for the Oricon cell arrays and if you're willing to kill a decent amount of enemies. My general consensus is go to the maps I previously mentioned because A, those are some of the more popular maps and B, they're some of the higher chance you'll actually get at quickly farming Oricon cells. But hey, you can go anywhere at one of the locations I mentioned if you want to because remember, Warframe's a game about just kind of hanging out, having fun, and farming the hell out of it. So, if you're not having fun, just take a break. Hopefully you guys liked the video and that helped you out. That's it for this one. I would appreciate if you liked, favorite the video. Maybe check out some of my other content. Comment down below, subscribe, join the channel membership, and follow my Twitch and Twitter if you will as well. I stream mainly on YouTube, but Twitch is a backup. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.